Damon Mullis cruises on a South Georgia river in search of fish deep below. Probably 20, 25 foot in some areas would be the deepest. About 25 miles from the coast on the Ogeechee River in Savannah, passing sunbathing reptiles, waterfowl, and swamplands along the way. What kind of fish are we looking for? Uh, red breast sunfish is what we're targeting. And it doesn't take long. Oh, got you got one. Got for us to make our first catch. That's what we're looking for, red breast. The plan isn't to eat the fish, but to test them for a cancer-causing toxin called perfluoroalkyl, or PFAS for short, used by manufacturers for decades to make products water and oil resistant, like nonstick cookware, carpet, and food packaging. Scientists call it the forever chemical because it does not break down naturally. Last year, a study by the Waterkeeper Alliance discovered the chemical in the Ogeechee River and other rivers in Georgia, including the Chattahoochee. The Ogeechee is the site of the largest fish kill in the state's history, caused by water discharges from a now closed textile plant upstream. So, yeah, we put these chemicals out in the environment, uh, not really understanding their impacts on on the ecology of our systems, but also their impact on human health. And then once they're out there, they make their ways into our body, whether we eat fish or not. There we go. To measure the impact, the executive director of the Ogeechee River Keepers partnered with Georgia Southern University to test the fish for PFAS here at its lab. Each one caught, measured, weighed, and its GPS location recorded. The bigger the fish, the better for testing. Um, so the longer an animals live, the higher up on the food chain, generally uh, the more contaminated they're gonna be with uh, PFAS. It's not just the Ogeechee River potentially contaminated. A study released by the Environmental Working Group earlier this year discovered elevated levels of the chemical in fish from coast to coast. The samples collected by the Environmental Protection Agency discovered PFAS in freshwater fish 280 times higher than commercially raised fish. To put in perspective, the Environmental Working Group estimates eating just one freshwater fish a year could be equal to drinking a month's worth of water laced with the forever chemical. David Andrews is one of the researchers who led this study. This is a significant problem, and this is one that we think should be addressed at both the local and federal level in terms of holding polluters accountable and potentially um, providing guidance to anglers or communities who are, re are relying on these fish. Oh, that's a good one too. Some states have set PFAS limits related to fish consumption, issuing warning signs like these, but Georgia is not one of them. Why? The state's Environmental Protection Division says the states that took action had much higher levels of the toxin, and it's decided to wait until the Environmental Protection Agency releases its PFAS restrictions and testing guidelines. A decision with no set deadline involving an agency with the history of delays. I would love to see a little more urgency from the federal government and the state government. And that's one reason we're doing this project. What's happening here is happening all throughout the, the country. Not doing anything, ignoring it, is not going to help. 